Have you ever tried to convert a simple two-column matrix into an SF object only to hit a wall? It can be frustrating, right? If that's you, then you're in the right place. Today, we're going to tackle this issue and show you how to make that conversion smoothly. I totally get it. You have this matrix and you want to convert it into an SF object, but the usual methods just aren't cutting it. You're not alone in this struggle. Many users face similar challenges when working with spatial data in R. Here's the specific situation we're looking at. One user recently asked, how can I convert my two column matrix into an SF object? They provided a matrix generated with random numbers and expressed frustration with the apply function not working as expected. Sound familiar? Let's dive into this together and find a solution. So what's the issue here? The apply function is not giving you the expected results and you want a solution that doesn't involve complex loops or switching to other packages. We'll break it down step by step so you can understand how to achieve this conversion effectively. And don't go anywhere. I've got a simple solution at the end that will make this process a breeze. To convert the two column matrix into an SF object, the user should first ensure they have the necessary library installed. The user can do this by running the install command for the SF package. Next, the user should load the SF library to access its functions. This is done using the library function. Now the user can create the SF object. They should use the st as SF function specifying the matrix as the data source and defining the geometry using the stpoint function. Finally, the user can check the structure of the newly created SF object to confirm that it has been created correctly. This can be done using the star function. Fun fact, the SF package in R is a powerful tool for handling spatial data, and it stands for simple features. It makes working with spatial data much easier than ever before. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative approach provided by another user is to utilize the SF headers library. This method allows you to convert the matrix directly into an SF object without complex transformations. Here's the pro tip I promised. Always check your data structure before conversion. Understanding how your data is organized can save you a lot of headaches down the line. And there you have it you've successfully converted your two column matrix into an SF object. Remember, understanding your data structure is key. If you found this helpful, hit the subscribe button for more tips and don't miss our next video on advanced spatial data manipulation.